Porch Review. What's up everyone, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, bringing you the first of what I hope to be many front porch reviews. Just to mix the whole thing up, we're gonna start doing some reviews on the front porch. We got cars passing by, people walking up and down the street. Just make it a little bit more interesting. Today's review is of this, which is the Zero Tolerance 0460, 0460 cool little EDC knife. This came to us from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Check them out online, smkw.com, smkw.com. All right, so initial thoughts on this knife. Uh, first thing, lightweight. This is definitely a lightweight knife. Uh, second thing is EDC. Some of my EDC knives, like for example, the Benchmade Griptilian, I'm like, yeah, it's a good EDC knife, but you can also bring it into the woods, use it hunting, fishing, whatever it is. This, I mean, if you had to, you can use it in those ways, but this is really an EDC knife for me lightweight, uh, nicely made, but really kind of classy and not something I would want to use to do a ton of whittling or cutting wood, things like that. Opening boxes, opening letters, cutting some paracord, maybe cutting some rope if I had to. Uh, yeah, but definitely EDC is what I'm talking about when I think of this knife. Some of your details on the knife, 3.25 inches for the blade. It is 4.44 inches closed and 7.25 inches when it is open. Your steel, I don't know if you can see that on the back side there, right there, right there. S35VN, so a good steel, um, gonna stay sharp a long time. And um, yeah, so those are some of your basic details. You can see we do have the black spacer in the back here. We've got carbon fiber right there. And it's kind of a, like a brown and black stripe. And I think it's really cool. The rest of the frame is titanium. It is a frame lock, as you can see there. There's your pocket clip. It's gonna be tip up, right side carry only, so you can't switch that pocket clip around. Any of the other options. Thickness for the blade is 0.125 inches. Your weight is just under five ounces, about 4.96 ounces. So definitely, again, a lightweight knife. I also wanna mention that this is my first zero tolerance knife. I have never owned a zero tolerance before. Um, any particular reason? Nope, I actually like some of the uh, bigger, beefier zero tolerance, not tolerance knives, but I just never got around to getting them. And I tested out a lot of other knives. And uh, so this is my first ZT knife. So I've EDC'd this thing for a while, but I wanna show you what it looks like in use a little bit here. So let's, uh, we'll just start with some jute twine just to show you how this works. And this thing, I mean, it came very, very sharp. So it definitely does the job just fine with these this is not a super, you know, strong twine, but this is something that you might, you know, get something shipped to you in, you know, wrapped up and you had to use it like an EDC task. So here's this, there's doubled over, no problem. Go a little bit thicker here with some clothesline rope. Once again, no problem. We'll double this over here. Like so, no problem. Triple it over. There's that, no problem. A little uh, Capri Sun box here just to show you cutting some lightweight cardboard. Here come the cars. Just to show you it's still sharp here, cut some paper. Like I said, I wouldn't be using this thing for, uh, you know, carving feather sticks or traps or stuff like that. But just to show you, it can do a little bit of that type of work. And there's a little uh, feather stick action for you with the ZT0460. So you've seen me use this knife on camera, and then additionally I've EDC'd this and carried it for a while and used it in some additional ways. Uh, what are my closing thoughts? I like the knife. Uh, things that I like about it, I like that it's just the style, the sweep. I really like Persian style blades, and this has got a lot of contours here, a lot of bend and sweep to that. Um, I like the steel, I like the carbon fiber, I like that color, I think that's really cool looking. I gotta be honest, when I first opened it up and took it out of the box, I was like, oh, this thing's kinda small. I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger. Um, but the size of the shape, the contour, really good for just getting good control of it while you're, you know, while you're actually manipulating, manipulating and using the, uh, the knife. Zero tolerance, like I said, this is my first one, and I've been impressed uh, with it so far. 
So downsides to this knife, um, if you're looking for a knife to use as an EDC knife, but also out on the ranch, out on the farm, out in the woods, I'd probably go with something a little bit heftier than this. Um, it's still pretty sturdy. I've used it in, a, I, would, I wouldn't say aggressive, but, you know, mildly aggressive or semi-aggressive ways a little bit, and uh, it's held up. But I look at this knife and I say EDC knife. I'm not going to use this super, super aggressively. The one other downside, I would say, or thing to be aware of at least, is your flipper. I just found that a little bit too small, man. If they made that just a hair bigger, it would be easier to actuate the knife. I've gotten used to it, but the first couple times I was like, dang, that is, that's a small flipper. Um, now that I've gotten used to it, it's not a problem, but I'd like to see just a little bit more size for the uh, flipper so I can actuate the knife. There you see right there? Actuate it a little bit easier. Um, not a make or break thing for me, but something you should be aware of, especially if you have like extra large size hands. Your price point for this knife is $180, and that's an investment, but I look at this knife as something like uh, the Benchmade Osborne 940, something in that family. I mean, it's a beautiful uh, long-term EDC knife. If you just want to get a knife to kind of mess around with a little bit, get something from Kershaw for 50 bucks or 40 bucks, get an Ontario Rat 1 or Rat 2. But if you want a nice EDC knife, then this is an investment, but I think you're gonna be really happy with it. Um, and I, my, I think maybe my favorite thing after the overall style of it is gonna be how lightweight it is. Just very compact, lightweight, and a sleek little EDC knife. So uh, yeah, check them out over again at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, smkw.com is where you can pick this up. Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram and Tumblr as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.